soccer tournament is over. So let's talk about it on the big hard fact. Which brings me to today's big hard fact. According to the Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa, three out of four households in Lagos is renting. Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa says that three out of four households in Lagos is renting. That means that 75% of Lagosians are living in a rented property, not a house they own. Now, as you can imagine, most of the 25% who live in their own homes are in the higher income brackets. So when we talk about people's one year's rent in advance, it's a scenario that affects middle income earners, lower income earners in Lagos. That's something that affects them more. That's why the government wants to encourage landlords to start taking monthly payments instead of yearly. Last week, I told you about a meeting of the National Council of Housing and Urban Development. And at that meeting, Governor Somolu said that most Lagosians are struggling with raising one year's rent in advance. He also said that it makes the market less efficient. Here's what that means. So let's say that uh, someone makes 60,000 naira a month. And that person is able to save 20,000 naira every month for rent. Right? That means that in one year, they can save 240,000 naira for rent. But they will not have that whole money until the end of the year. Because they don't have it yet. End of the year, that's when they'll have it. But landlords want the whole year's rent in advance. So maybe this guy can only raise 100,000 naira at a go. But by the time he borrows from friends and family, he don't tap out. That 100K is all he can come up with or all she can come up with. So she ends up going for a 100,000 naira property. But imagine if a landlady was ready to take 20,000 naira monthly payment from her. That landlord would end up getting 240,000 naira over the year. That's the inefficiency that the governor was talking about. But I'm sure that landlords and landladies are aware of this, right? Because if landlords are insisting on being paid uh, um, um, yearly, even though it reduces market efficiency for them, you get why. And I'm pretty sure you're going to call me and tell me all the reasons why. Because when you ask the landlords, the first thing they tell you is guarantee of payment. Even now, with yearly payment, you have the problem where a tenant pays the first year, then starts struggling. So landlords are saying, imagine what will happen if it is a monthly payment. They are afraid that after a couple of months, tenants will start doing strong head to pay. So I think we should even start there. Before we get into what the governor is proposing, the solution the governor is proposing, let's start there. Tell me what you think about the concern that the landlords and landladies have. Why do you think they charge annual rent instead of monthly rent in Nigeria? Do you think that monthly rent will increase the odds of a tenant not paying? Do you agree with someone Lu that um, yearly rent makes it difficult financially for most renters and is inefficient for landlords? And what do you think can be done to make monthly rental attractive to the landlords and the landladies, make it less risky for them? Zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three zero one four six five seven one nine zero zero one four six five seven one nine zero that's our number for women zero one four six five seven one nine zero uh we put up a poll on on facebook by the way asking people who they thought uh won the debate and people on facebook uh you know are voting chair gozi as a person who won so you know, my team will be proud that they were able to decide. My team was telling me that it was very difficult for them to decide who the winner was. Uh, they were saying that uh, it was so tight. It was so close because they were very, very good. I think I have myself to blame for choosing really good debaters because this is what you get. You know, you have two firebrands going at each other and then you end up with 
um, a decision that isn't really, uh, you know, it's not very satisfying because you want both of them to go forward. But I digress. Let's let's come back to uh, monthly rent. Do you think it could work in Lagos? 99.3. Hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. 99.3. Oh, no. Call me back if you can. Hello. 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 Okay. There's no one there. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Okemute is my name. Welcome, Okemute. Yes. Um, many a times, uh, landlords tend to wanting people to pay one year because they also don't have confidence on the ten on the tenant. And you know, a tenant that uh, that must pay for one year, many a times it leads to uh, corruption because if you're in an office that your salary is very small. And you know that within a period of one year, you won't be able to save that money. Mm. If you see something to steal in the office, begin to steal. So paying one month makes a whole lot of sense. But the, the landlord will not want it because they want their money in bulk. I wonder what they want to do with that uh, bulk money anyway. Is there yeah. money now? Yeah. <laughs> is there money now? <laughs> uh, but they, 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 even if it's their money, somebody mm. who is bringing the money, mm -hmm. is it not stressful for one to start getting uh, sometimes a, a rent is 600000 mm -hmm. and your salary is uh, 100000 How can you get that the 600000 Is it not that, are, are they not indirectly telling you that, please, if you see any money in the, in, in, in the corner, please pick it. That's exactly what they're trying to tell you directly. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Akimute, for calling. I wonder if uh, uh, Baramosi agrees. Thank you very much for calling us. Good evening. Hello? Good evening, sir. What's your name? I'm Adeola. Adeola. Oh, Adeola, welcome. Yes. Um, concerning landlords and tenants and collecting monthly or yearly, mm -hmm. you see, uh, as, as, as 1977, mm -hmm. I collect monthly. Okay. And then, uh, you see, I collect about 16 naira a month. Okay. And then, there was a time I wanted to go back to Europe. I was no, I have no money. So I have to tell my tenant to give me one year in advance. And then he gave me a year in advance. And I was able to pay, uh, buy my ticket back to Europe. Okay. So uh, there's, a, there's, a advantage, there's an advantage okay. in collecting yearly because of inflation, of, uh, you know, all sorts of things like that. And you can use, use the money and you see what you... You know, when you if you collect monthly, mm -hmm. you see with the with the trends now, with the economic trends now, mm -hmm. you see that uh, you can be very unbalanced economically. Mm -hmm. That's one. And number two, you see that um, some tenants, when they pay this one year or so, whatever they pay, they 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 start making trouble and all that, and uh, they may not even pay again. So. It's a dilemma, actually. It's a dilemma, actually. You cannot take monthly from them because this monthly thing is, is not is not is not it in Nigeria now. <laughs> and then the yearly thing also has its own trouble of say, if they pay you one year and then they don't pay again, what do you do? And you know, if you if you if you collect one year, it means you give them a notice of six months before you can ever say yeah, go. That is the international rule for, for uh, this tenant some tenancy rule. Hmm. You must give. But but for but for monthly it's only three months and seven days they, they, they can go. But the law in Nigeria now has not permitted anybody. And I don't know what, what the government is trying to the government is trying to do. If you can quit people out of the house, then it is better you you, you collect monthly because if they if they if they, if they breach the the, the the contract for paying you monthly, then you can get them out. Like in America, you can throw their loads outside. You see, but in Nigeria you can't do that. If you do it, you you, you end up in jail. So that these are the troubles about tenant, landlord collecting when they are collecting. The government, if the if government is coming on that one, they should think very well. I know the courts are filled up now with this tenant landlord troubles, and it's you know the majority of the landlords who are retirees, they can't get money to buy medicine. They can't even get money to to send their children to school because some some tenants will be there three, four, five years. It, they will not go away. And you go, they collect, they get their own lawyers, and they, you know they bribe, you know that kind of thing. So it's a problem. Actually, it's a problem. And it's a very good uh, 
uh, issue you are bringing this evening. I, I hope other contributors will do something about it. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Adela, for calling us. What do you think about the points Adela made? 99.3, hello. 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 What's your name? Yes, yeah, Sandra is equally my baby. Good to have you on the show. Nonya, is that you? Yes, my lover. <laughs> now, me now, baby. How you doing? I think I'll be welcome. No, hey, me now, hey, me now. Nonya, hey, my name's sake. Ah, oh, baby, whoa. <laughs> Nonya, what do you think about monthly rent? My sister, what do you cost most of this business? And most of the landlords uh, and land leases, for example, now, if they don't do their assignment, they say they have a completion. Say they finish my conversation. Okay. So most of them go to collect one year, they collect two years. So when they use your money, they can they complete the one, so the other thing has to come. So when the other thing has to come, come they collect two years, and so they do, they can't do their house. Because of the way things don't be for Lagos, and they say Lagos are the center of uh, excelling. So people go they like, they come Lagos, they come, if you don't have gone for Lagos, like they have 200,000, which we talk about. Yeah. So they have 200,000, okay. yeah. mm. they have Mm-hmm. So, now, now, so the matter, they are most of most of them they even get empathy for we the tenants. Mm. As I boy they pray and some people step go with one rent and just them to rent um the one way they pay a com uh the way they go feed pay. They go they rent the one way because they make the pay. You understand me? Okay. If you know say you know get money, rent one room self contain. So people don't have money, they rent two rooms self contain. After they'll be frustrated, they'll be passing their uh, aggression to their children and to their Family and it's very bad. Like we see a single lady renting a a a, a three two room self contained. Is it good? It's not good. How will you pay? Okay. All so right. That's my take. Thank, Thank you, you Nonya. Thank you very much for calling. Do you agree with Nonya? Ninety nine point three. Hello. Hello, Auntie Sandra. Uncle. Good evening, ma. Evening. See, uh, this uh, landlady and whatever one month salary or whatever they are saying. Mm. If the government said they will pay one month, the landlord and landlady has no problem about it. Okay. But how can they get them out if they refuse to pay? Because mm-hmm. I get cases where the same person stay in my house for two years and they have. He no agree on much. After we give a quick notice, he still asks for six months again. Up to now, you know, pay. We go court before they say they will come out. Now you don't come out to they start to say go pay the money. The money now, you know, grip pay. You don't run. Now they say go go back again, go meet the judge. Hmm. The judge knows you on seat. If the judge come on seat before you go grant a warrant of arrest, so go go arrest him. Hmm. All those kind of things in one month, what do you want to do with that one? Hmm. They have to put law, say, if now one month, hmm. if you don't pay you, the second they make it they carry in load come up for your house. Hmm. That one you go grip for it. Okay. Okay. All right. She makes some points. What do you think? 99.3. Hello. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. 99.3. Auntie Sandra. Uncle Frank. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. What do you think? My God, the last time. Which time? I don't know who calls now. I, I won't even know that yeah, you're calling. No problem, sir. <laughs> this is Mr. Fran, the vice president of Casper. Welcome. And Sandra, mm. if you want to go buy pure water, mm. pure water, one started. Yeah, say they are not the sport thing, say, by calling them. No, you're not. Uh, hey, you buy pure water, and 10 naira, 2, 20 naira. If you want to go drink pure water, you buy 10, 10 naira. Mm. Is it not better you use 100 naira or 120 go buy one bag? Okay. If you want to cook, is it, is it better for you to, anytime you want to cook, you go and buy it. Spices, you buy everything, you go and cook. Next time, if you want to cook, cook again, you go to market. Is it not better you go and buy things in bulk, buy your everything in bulk, so that if you want to cook, it will be easy for you. The tenant that is paying monthly, and Sandra, mm-hmm. the tenant that is paying monthly, you pay monthly, you subscribe your TV, you subscribe your phone, you buy every other thing. The money finished. Next time, you, eh, next month, you continue again. How that person survive? It's better for me mm. as one year. Because mm-hmm. once that one year comes, you hustle and pay. 
you the thing will give you chance, give you peace of mind. You hustle again as you are hustling, you are saving small, small money, small, small money. Before the end of the year, the thing will not be anything again. Because hmm. if you are paying monthly, ha, high BPO, <laughs> I for me I prefer it if the landlord and tenant will come to an agreement. The one that can be okay for you. If you say one month, oh, fine. If you say one year, fine. But for me, buying wholesale is better than buying the retail. All right. Thank, uh, thank you very much, Frank. If you just tuned into the show, you're wondering what are they talking about on Hard Facts on Nigeria Info with Sandra Ezekwesili. Well, my question is, can monthly rent payment work in Lagos? If it work for here, if you're a landlord or a landlady, how you see them? If it work, now before I tell you the solution that Governor Somolu has, because he's the one that is suggesting this, before I tell you his solution, I want to hear what you think. Do you think that landlords and landladies have a valid reason for not charging monthly rent, for collecting annual rent instead? Do you think that monthly rent will increase the odds of the tenant not paying? Do you agree with Governor Songwulu that yearly rent makes it difficult financially for most renters and it's not efficient for um, uh, landlords and uh, landladies? What can we do to make it more attractive for landlords and landladies to rent monthly instead of yearly? Akko is in transit. Hello, uh, Akko. Can you hear me? Yes, you're live on the show now. Welcome. Yes, thank you very much. All right, go ahead. So, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm saying that uh, in, in Nigeria, to pay monthly is not possible. Okay. It's not possible. Yes, it's attainable in developed countries like the UK, but in Nigeria, mm -hmm. it's not attainable. For, for some reason, uh, one, we are not credit worthy in Nigeria. We are not. We are not credit worthy. Um, someone says, I'm going to pay you next month. You do not like to pay you for another one year. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't happen over there. Also, secondly, if you take in your luggage, you walk into an apartment abroad with most of the things already there. Mm. Most of the time, the apartments are habitable. Mm. That's just the point I'm trying to make. Mm. But it's not the same over here. A uh, lot of our apartments are not habitable. No matter where they are, it could be. So you have to do a lot of work yes, to set it up. Not happy to do. So right. before you get it, you have to do a whole lot of repair. Yes. To ensure you get it. Yes. And, and that name in it. Right. Now, if you say someone should pay one month here in this country, he's most likely to owe you for over a year. And then uh, before you can evict him, there's a lot, whole lot of trouble. And so that's why they need say one year. And that one year, Lots of tenants continue to support and hold their landlords. And like so one of your callers mentioned, it is quite difficult to exist uh, because of the laws that follow through and because of the problems of the judiciary. Mm. It's not really the problem of the judiciary. The judiciary has many, many, many cases and there are very, very few, few judicial officers to handle those cases. That's why it feels like some cases are taking longer time uh, to deal with. Mm. So, Greg, um, tenants for a month is, is unsustainable. It can't happen in this country. Mm. And even a year, we'll try to make it happen. So, uh, it, it's a year that we still have to, even if the government comes in and says, um, landlord collect rent for a month or three months, it's not going to work. It's not going to be attainable. It's not going to be sustainable because of the reasons I've given earlier. Uh, yeah. So, I think yearly is still what every, everyone is trying to cope with. And still, I, I must tell you, I must tell you, the landlords continue to suffer for it. Uh, and also, the landlords also are not also giving tenants what is really habitable. And that's why some of them, when they go and make law repairs, they find it so difficult to pay at the end of the day. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, call. Thank you so much for calling. 99.3, hello. Uh, good evening, Good evening. Adeshewa on the line. Adeshewa, welcome. Please, your line is your, behaving these days, though. Your, li your little friend wants to first. Good evening, man. Good evening. Like show. Oh, thank you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> My name is Jess Loba. Hi. Hi, Jess Loba. Thank you for you calling know, us. She has been killing me for that for over a month now. <laughs> okay. Thank you for listening to her, finally. <laughs> See, if we look at it, mm. 
on my own side, I think yearly is still okay. Look at September now. Mm. Children will go into school. Mm. And you said me at the end of that month, I will still be thinking of, hey, then I landlord fee. Ah, no, 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 no. If they want to reduce it, let it be like three months, six months. That monthly. We are, we are in a country that of course occurrence just happen anytime. Mm. Of course, no occurrence is just come, just come up anytime. Mm. So I don't think that monthly will work. Okay. I don't think it will work. To All me, right. it's a yearly trend. Yearly, Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Now, we've got lots of comments on WhatsApp. Let me try and take some of them before we go on a break. When we come back from the break, I'll tell you what um, Governor Somoli is proposing as a solution, right? Uh, we've got uh, hmm, Harry who says, um, the okay, now hold on. Where's that message from Harry? I just saw it just now and it's 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 gone away oh my god where is it where is it okay well let me move on to the next one then richard says that the issue of rent is multifaceted the uh, mr someone who can make rent to be paid uh, paid every six months but he should face the bigger issue which is high rent costs and outrageous agent fees which is getting out of hand no jobs those who work majority get very low pay and one cannot even rent an apartment because of high rent cost all right, Richard, thanks for your message. Sandra, I've not been paid, though. I, I won on your show. Okay, we're going to confirm that and uh, make sure that you're paid. Chinga from Magodo says it's very possible this whole annual payment is due to the state of the nation. It started when middlemen came in as a business because growing up, rents used to be paid monthly and I never heard of issues. On both sides, corruption is the issue. All right, thank you very much. For your message. Sandra, the proposal by the governor is a good move, but there should be a law that backs the landlord to quit the tenant if they fail to pay for at least two months because some tenants are very cunning. All right. Nigeria has no rental regulations. The rate at which rent increases is outrageous. We can barely gather up to pay yearly. So, what's the possibility of monthly rent? Success from Awoyaya with that message there. We'll take one final call and then we'll take a break, come back and we'll talk about uh, the governor's solution in detail. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. We've got 60 seconds for you. Good What's evening. your name? What's your name? AGK is my name. AGK, hey, welcome. We've got 60 seconds for you. All right, sir. Mm. What I want to say, what you're suggesting, mm -hmm. uh, what the governor is suggesting, mm -hmm. To some people, it will be easy. Okay. To some, it will not be easy. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some people that are, on, that are living on daily income. True. Whatever they get, they live on that. True. But if much is not coming again, they will jump on that in their savings. All right? So, but when you manage to get it and you make sure that money is complete that month, mm. you pay it off. And you become a free man from the landlord for that month. Mm. But when you say you want to keep uh, save the money for one year, mm. just look at that. Mm -hmm. School fees, NEPA uh, bill, mm. uh, uh, toilet bill, mm. uh, security bill. Mm. Before you know it, if much is not coming, if much is not coming, mm. you spend that money again. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I, I believe, and that's why I'm suggesting that it is better we go back to monthly payment. All right. Thank you very much for calling, AGK. We have to take a break. You can find me on social media, Sandra Ezekwesili. When we come back from this break, we'll keep checking your thoughts on this subject. We'll also look at the governor's solution, and you'll tell me whether you think it's a solution that could work. This is Hard Facts on Nigeria Info 99.3. And information coming up. We'll be back in a moment. To grow a business in Nigeria, your connections have to be strong.
it will be it will be similar to the current rent to own program. It seems like that's what they're going for. Now, here's what Governor Songwondu has said about it. Quote, in Lagos, we operate a very robust rent-to-own program of 5% down payment and 6% simple interest rate payable over a period of 10 years. We're working on another product, which is a purely rental system where residents will pay monthly. This is to accommodate those who are not keen on home ownership and address current realities. In doing this, we believe that no one will be excluded from our intervention in this critical sector, end quote. So that's what the governor said. Now, the rent-to-own system is reserved for qualified Lagosians. Usually, it's people who have a verifiable job in the formal sector with a regular paycheck, so civil servants, for example, or bank workers, or, you know, people like me, really, who work in radio, uh, who at least work, you know, you know with media organizations uh, that get paychecks. So, so, it's, so it's very similar to the federal mortgage system, which we've been talking about on Madame Landlord. If you missed those, you can listen again on our website where we have our podcasts available. Our website is nigeriainfo.fm. But now Governor Songolu is saying that the government wants to launch a program for pure rentals. So maybe it's a situation where the scheme pays the landlord in full for the year, maybe, but collects monthly payments from the tenants plus interest. I don't know. I'm just taking a look at what the governor has said. Now, of course, such a scheme cannot capture every renter, right? Like I said, only those with very structured, very formal employment can, I, can apply for those ones, right? And even within that group, Seth, the scheme probably cannot fund everybody. It's a question of how much money the government can make available for those kinds of loans. But as a tentative solution, what do you think? Do you like the idea of the state government creating a program uh, and a fund to convert yearly rent payments into monthly payments for qualifying renters? Now, the formal sector is very small, but, you know, there we have it. What do you think about the fact that such a system will probably only benefit those with formal employment, like the rent-to-own system? And how do you think we could go about creating systems that also lets informal employees you know especially those in lower income brackets also benefit from monthly rent payments so if, if it's something that we decide is a good thing and it's something we decide okay we need to do how do we make it available to people that are not in salaried employment or people who are in salaried employment but it's very minimal so supermarket attendants uh, fuel pump attendants laborers um, security um, operatives so security men who people who work with security firms that sort of thing um, you know and other like informal sector workers because they may need it more than those who are getting a, a paycheck every month a sizable paycheck, middle-income earners. I don't know. What do you think? Women call me on zero one four six five seven one nine zero. Men call me on zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. You can also simply talk to me about the general idea of um, monthly rent payment. Let's talk to you now. Ninety nine point three. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Francis. Your name is? Francis. Francis. Hi, Francis. Welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Now, my own take on this is I want the government to make it more flexible because just like one of the callers said, Frank, he said something that if the government should allow individuals to be paying monthly, they are going to run into BP, and that's true. <laughs> because paying yearly mm. or paying monthly mm. or paying weekly mm. or paying quarterly mm. is not the issue. But if the government should make it more flexible, flexible I mean by bringing the price tag down a bit, because some of the house that goes for like, a million naira, 500,000, 200,000, they don't want it. 
you don't understand. We have like old houses are more expensive. We have new houses are still more expensive. So if the government has to look into this mm. to bring the price tag down mm. and regulate the system, mm. everything is going to be balanced. People still struggle to pay their, even though it's one year, people still struggle to pay. Mm. So even though it's going to be one month, people will still struggle to pay. Mm. The payment is not the issue. And I don't think it's going to be a problem. But the regulation should be where the government should lay their emphasis on. They should be able to bring down the price tag. They should regulate it. They should look at it very well and bring the price down. Because some of the houses, like I said earlier, don't want the price tag. And that's the problem with having in Nigeria. So they should look into that. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. 99.3. Hello. 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 I got you, boy. <laughs> Hello. You're calling the wrong station. <laughs> 99.3. Hello. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Good to have you on the show. Alex here. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Alex. Welcome. You see, Sandra, there was a time, there was a show you did when I called in and I made a request that when next to interview a political office holder, eh, especially mm. a legislator or somebody, mm. ask them what their constituents are. Mm. or ask them that, is that what your constituents are saying? Mm. You know, we keep making this mistake over and over and over again. Do you know, Sandra, mm -hmm. in this one hour <clears> or <throat> 30-minute program of yours, eh, mm -hmm. you have created more value than the government to some of us because we have heard what some people are saying. Mm. You see, we have, our politicians have this failing every time. How can he sit in his office and be guessing what we want. Why don't you come out and organize a, a, a polling system? It's easy. You can work with the network providers to create an app so that people can put the topic there. People will just vote while in their house, even lying on your bed, so that you know that you have harnessed the opinion of Lagosians, both landlords and tenants. All these things. Look at all the brilliant things that people are saying. I say you create more value than even the government. Because they are sitting down and they are imagining that they know what we want. That's not democracy, Sandra. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm not talking on the topic in particular. I'm just saying that our <laughs> way is not, is not democracy. Okay. <laughs> you should stop imagining things. You should stop hearing voices. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Joy Nikeja is on the line. Hi, Joy. Yeah, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Sandra, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have plenty, plenty policies in, in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know. It's just the ones that, that is working for. Mm -hmm. People just need something that is easy for them to, you know, access. Like for that um, monthly thing you talked about, mm -hmm. yes, it's a good one. If it is done outside this country, in the Western world, it's actually easy. But here, people are very tedious. And again... Because of the, our, the, our, the value of our Naira, okay, mm. when you collect a rent for one month, what are you going to use it to do? Mm. Just like you, you are working now. Mm. As you are working with Sandra, now they are giving you your salary, your, they are giving you wages every day, every day. Mm. That money will scatter. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But now, that is why most times, I don't want the money to be a book ticket for mm. them to be able to at least use the money to do something meaningful for themselves. Mm. Mm. It can be like six months and one year like that and i know we have some landlords that are very good they want two years mm. they want one year eh? but mm. some will say okay you can keep your money into two you know first half of the year mm. then last part of the year mm. then the one that the government is talking about if they can make it to be in every local government not just local government so that the people not whereby you go and build one particular uh, local um, housing in a particular far place, you know, that is not even accessible. Mm. They will not give it to their people, mm. you know. Those are actually the only get it. Some people will not afford that housing, you know. So uh, there are so many issues with Nigerian policy. We have good ones, but I don't know. It's actually, it's as if it, it, it does not work when it's time for them to start implementing it. Mm -hmm. That's my issue. Thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. All right then, uh, Lagos. What do you think? We've had we've had so many callers with very varying opinions on the subject. 
I, 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 I'm, I'm very curious to, to, to hear you, your own thoughts. What do you think? Ayobami from Surulere says, um, government should not start what they cannot finish. Okay. The issue of one year or monthly rent wouldn't be an issue for discussion if we have a government that is living up to its bindings by making cost of a building easy. You cannot make law on what you contribute nothing on. Most tenants in Lagos are more comfortable with the one-year arrangement. All right, Steve, thank you for your comment. The problem is not monthly or yearly, but high rent. The government should be concerned with high rent in Lagos instead of whether rents are paid monthly or yearly. All right, uh, more messages here. Most people are living beyond their means. Monthly rent is a very good thing if you work within your budget. All right. Thanks for your message. Uh, Sandra, it's annual rent in advance. This must be emphasized. Uh, Harry, with that message there, it's annual rent in advance. Okay. <laughs> uh, recall that we were paying monthly in arrears up, or up to the 90s. I don't understand why people say it's impossible. Hmm. All right. Collecting house rent monthly or yearly, in my view, shouldn't be government issue here. Part of Governor Somolo's duty is to provide affordable houses for the masses. If he does his duties judicially, judiciously by providing close to enough houses for the masses, prices of houses will drop drastically and uh, mode of payment either yearly or monthly will not be an issue to debate on. All right. YKE from Boogie J with that message there. Let's come back to the phone lines. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. All right, then. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Okay. 99.3. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What's your name? This is Onome. Onome, welcome. Yeah, from IKB. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, about the topic, I think um, the issue of iron is uh, is a problem. Mm. If the government can make the amount of house rent come down, then the issue of monthly, I think making it six months, six months, six months and one year is also better. Just like just as Mr. Franka said. If um, tenants, when if, if they if they put their plan on monthly basis, in short, so many people will, will be tested for IDP because you have it in your mind every, every month that you need to pay your house rent. So, I think the issue, the the solution should be six months or yearly, and the amount should be should be should be to drop down drastically because it's too high. All right, thank, thank you, you very sir. much. Uh, we've got Samuel in Yaba on the line. Samuel, how are you? Hello, Samuel. Are you there, Samuel? Oh, Samuel isn't there anymore. All right, let's go to Facebook where we have a few thoughts that have come in already. Uh, on Facebook, uh, engineer Saints and OB says, Sandra, the government intervention is okay if it can be agreed on six months. One mouth. It, one mouth is not encouraging to both one month i think you meant to write is not encouraging to both both tenants and the house owners the intervention has to be on how to abolish the agent and commission stuff which mostly provokes the tenants not to be in good terms with the house owners all right engineer saints and ob uh danny on abayomi says there's housing deficit in nigeria therefore monthly rent payment may not work daniel anthony says monthly rent should be for daily earner and yearly rent uh, for monthly earner this will this country no easy the governor suppose understand <laughs> okay Imano yeah yeah in a sense says the house may be two hundred thousand per annum agents an agreement fee will be 150k making the total amount to raise up to 350k i think the only thing government can do is to embark on massive infrastructural development uh, if not, no amount of enforcement can stop this huge amount of money that we pay to landlords in Lagos. 99.3, hello. Hello, Santa. Thank you for calling. What's your name? Just lucky. Lucky? Oh, Shagun, welcome. Thank you. Mm. It's a very good uh, intention, though. I'm a, I'm a retiree of... Uh, and some of land development. Okay. Now, 
Voilà Mohamed, initiated this in Abuja during the Jonathan administration. Please, I'm, into, I'm not doing politics. Don't <laughs> cut me off. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm just, it's just, you know, where you pass through, that's what you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you were not in, in the meeting. I will have asked you to ask a question. See, there is nothing they are bringing that is new. Mm. Please take note of that. Mm. It has been there. Okay. It's just the implementation that is the problem okay. the country has. People are more self-centered than nationalistic. Mm. Where, where I'm going is that there is a program in the federal system we call Sight and Sound Services. What does this program do? It goes to interland, make roads, put infrastructure, drainage, and lights, and give allocation to civil servants. Because that is the closest thing. Sell to the public. Now, Sandra, the question I want to bring forth is if, for instance, Lagos State builds two bedrooms, how much will be the cost? How long will it take as a rent and pay system mm. to, over, to overcome the payments? What is the salary in relation to the cost of their houses? Mm. Now, if the public are building and they want to give it for one month and all those things. A lot of people are said the fact. I grew up from a, a parents who owned their houses. My mother before her Denise, mm-hmm. which swear that she would never build a house to rent in her life. Just during the time of monthly payments. Every month they fight. Police station, arrest. Every month in this legal island. <laughs> now, <laughs> government, See, somebody called and he made a point asking how close are we going to be to civilization. Civilizations are initiated by the government. Beautiful houses are built in Lekki. There are vast land in Ikurudu, Agboa, Epe. If you go to build mass houses there, these people will need to come to Lekki to survive. Mm. What does it cost them? Is it possible? Is it manageable? All these apps, you know, it's like our leaders come to speak to the public glare. Before, I'm sorry, before someone only became governor, mm-hmm. he was the director, commissioner mm-hmm. for LSDPC. Their housing department in Lagos. Mm-hmm. What has it done? Sandra, mm-hmm. I am a victim of Morocco housing demolition in mm. the 1990s. Mm. In fact, my own part of it was demolished by Jack in 1981. Mm. I was given a location. To today, over 40 years, the house has not been built. Now, Let me stop here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling. I quite enjoyed um, listening to you speak there. Okay. Well, Lagos, let's keep hearing from you, shall we? 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. Uh, Sandra, to me, oh, if the landlord uh, will give me option, I will prefer monthly rent payment because it's not easy. For one to gather mon- money for 12 months to pay for one year rent. If the landlord wants yearly payment of rent, he should drop his account number where the tenants can be paying into if he doesn't want to pay for a year. Joseph from Ajar there. Frank from Abulegba says, Sandra, payment is not the issue, but regulation. Imagine where a room and parlor self-contained goes for 350k to 400k a year. Because where? Because on the island, you see a nonsense that claims it is room and parlor. And it's going for 1.5 million. <laughs> oh, God. This is my eyes I've seen in this Lagos. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, Jude Allen from Alabado says, How can I subscribe for data, DSTV, electricity, and you still expect me to pay for hours for 
uh, rent monthly. It's not possible. Well, abroad it is possible. You pay all those things and you still pay your rent monthly. We'll take a final call. Actually, no, we don't have time for a final call. We're completely out of time. But speaking of rent, tomorrow at 5 p.m., we'll finish that conversation we started last week Thursday. Remember that 28-year-old uh, woman who has a wedding coming up on December 28th? this December 28th, that said um, that the house that she built and uh, the rent that she's collecting on that house, the man she wants to marry has said to her that she needs to transfer the deed of that property to her and also make sure that the, the account where the tenants are paying rent into is his account, not uh, her own account. That that's how to be a submissive uh, future wife. They've already done introduction. They're about to do their traditional wedding on the 28th of December. And she doesn't know how to say to this guy, what you're asking me is impossible. So tomorrow at 5 p.m., we'll continue that conversation. Of course, before 5 o'clock, there's 4 to 5, where we listen to children between 12 and um, 17 debate the topics of today and of course uh, before that at 3 p.m we'll, we'll we'll talk to we'll talk to each other about three of the biggest stories of tomorrow uh, i wonder what they will be we'll find out tomorrow at three when you and i meet again Lagos, it's been real. I'm Sandra Ezekwesli on social media. You can keep listening because Conversations with Rufai will uh, be up next from um, 6.15 after the news at 6 o'clock. Those were hard facts, Lagos. Good night. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.